What's up, party animals? My name is Kazi, and today we're talking about Turning Red. Now, this movie is probably... <sighs> so, you know Zootopia, right? That's a pretty cut-and-dry furry movie. Turning Red is even more so. Let me tell you why. So, Zootopia, everyone is an animal. There are no humans, they just didn't happen, and so all the animals live together in harmony in the big land of Zootopia. Now, because of this, it draws furries to watch it. It's a, it's a fun movie. It's got a lot of furries in it. Animal people, yippee. But it doesn't really go over the furry experience. It goes over, you know, what's the experience of a world full of animals. And that's cool, and I like it, and it's a great movie, and it's pretty big in the furry fandom. However, Turning Red kind of it's more furry. Even though it's less furry, it's got, you know, people everywhere. It has the human aspect of the furry fandom, and that's not something to sleep on. The human aspect in the furry fandom is big, and it's very unique to the fandom in this human world. You won't have the same experience as being a furry here versus, you know, being an anthro in, in Zootopia. And because of that, this movie hits hard for being a furry movie because it's... How do I go over this? This is... There's a lot. Because you live in the human world, right? We live in the human world as furries. And a lot of times, you know, our, our, our parents, for example, this is a big one, you know, your parents are like, no, you can't be a furry. That's, that's bad. It's uncivil. It's not good. It's not healthy. The more you go into this, into this thing, the more rebellious you'll become. And the more you'll, you'll, you'll find this, this, this bad side to, the, to everything. And that is pretty much this plot of Turning Red. Mom is like, no, you can't be that red panda. That's a demon. You're gonna hurt people with that. But when the actual panda is let out, and especially around the other kids, it's cool. You know, and it, it take, take aside, you know, the, the hate from the fandom for a minute. Anyone who doesn't already have a pre-perception of what a furry is, they think fursuits are cool as heck. Um, my experience at raves, my experience at, you know, local events, everyone who doesn't just automatically hate furries thinks they're cool. And in a world where maybe furries don't exactly exist already, that red panda is the star of the school. Because why wouldn't it be? It's a freaking giant red panda. That's the coolest thing ever. And nobody would really disagree with that. And so being able to bring that out, and you'll, you'll notice that, that May is miserable. She, she is, you know, she's being goody two shoes, doing everything her mother asks, and eventually she realizes that this isn't her, and, it, and she's just being her mother, and it's not fun anymore. And so she becomes, she loses her sense of self. But by releasing the panda, she becomes who she feels she is deeper inside. And this is something that I think is very, very powerful. Not only is this going to bring a lot of furries into the community because they're like, oh, well, I want to be a red panda. That's fun. And then they find this whole community of people who be animals. But I think the plot of the story is that, you know, there's this deeper animal within May. And I think that, you know, family ties aside, I think that there is a deeper animal within everybody. I think that, you know, you don't have to have some ancient curse on your family to be a dog once in a while. And that's huge. And it brings to a point that I wanted to talk about for a while, which is something called Therians? Therians? I don't know how to pronounce it. I barely know how to spell it. But it's basically this concept where you feel like there is a deeper animal within you because, you know, you don't feel it... You, you feel out of place in the human world. But, you know, when, when you embrace this inner animal, it feels right. It feels natural. 
And I'm big on this. Whenever I put on Kezi, I feel like I am who I am meant to be. You know, looking at myself in the camera right now, I don't, you know, I, I feel right. This feels good. And when I am my normal human self, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't feel wrong, but it doesn't exactly feel like it's who I am. I feel like when I'm, you know, just normal old me, I don't feel like I'm representing my true self. I'm just being, you know, in society. And it's, it's interesting because in, in, the, in that light, May is the same way where, you know, she, she has to be, you know, normal human May to function in school. You know, I'm not going to get to go to work, you know, like this, especially because I work in a clean room, getting fur on like micro processors, that's dangerous. That's going to cause problems. So, you know, to a point, it's good that I'm not a furry 100% of the time. But that, that, that drive, that feeling is still there all the time. May always has the option to be the red panda. It's just a matter of when you can let it out versus, you know, when you shouldn't let it out. And I think that's big, and I think it's going to make a lot of people realize that there is something deeper within themselves. And while the idea of, like, you know, Therianism is, is pretty prominent within that movie, I think that not everyone needs to think, oh, there's, you know, a, 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 a bear inside of me that is, you know, who I, who I truly am. It's more about finding out who you truly are, regardless of it being an animal or not. People are... <sighs> I think society is inherently brainwashing, and that's not a bad thing. We have a functional society because of it. But I think at a certain point, there is a, you know, there's, there's this conformity, and it makes people unhappy if you do the same thing that everyone else is doing. I think that, that that's not where progress comes from. You know, we didn't invent cell phones because everyone was, you know, doing the same thing. Someone decided to do something crazy, and now we have smartphones. And everything from that point is because, you know, you broke the mold. And I think that's huge. I think that's incredibly important to, you know, once in a while, break the mold. Once in a while, become a red panda. It's powerful stuff. And I think that's one of the reasons why parents hate the movie so much, because it literally says, fuck your parents, do what you want, you're gonna be happier. And to a point, it's true. You know, I've, <laughs> you don't, you don't always need to listen to your parents. Now I'm not saying don't listen to your parents. That's bad advice. Listen to them. Don't get in trouble and don't do anything stupid. You know, attacking, even in the movie, she attacked some child. Don't do that. Like you need to know, you need to be able to have limits. You need to be able to have things that say, hey, I am in control of my own actions. And, you know, that's why parenting exists. That's why you got to raise them from a young age, because you got to teach them what's right and what's wrong. Kids don't inherently know that. And, you know, there's that, there's the balance. You know, you can't go full, you can't go barking in the street. That's, that's a line. You're going to, if you cross that line, that's a problem. And people are going to be upset and, uh, you know, things aren't going to work right. But when you have your space to do it, you know, when you're at a party and you want to just let go, you know, if, if you're not attacking children, you're doing, you're, you're fine. People will like it. People will enjoy you for being who you truly are instead of what society says you should be. And I think that's true for a lot of things is when you, when you embrace your true self, when you embrace the thing that people, that some people say, no, that's horrible, maybe think on that. Think about what is it that makes me happy and is it something that I can do and actually make me happy and others around me? Because if that's yes, if you can make other people happy by being your true self, maybe it's not so bad to break a few rules to be, to, to, to make the world a better place. 
you know? And May did that. May set up the temple, and now she's the real red panda going and showing people this magic temple, you know? And that's, that's super cool. You don't get that everywhere. And I think those special moments are what make life special. You know, yeah, go to work, do your job, go do your homework. I hate homework, but you know, do, do, do the things you're supposed to do to make it through society. But every once in a while, don't be afraid to make people smile. All right, well, that's about it. Um, I think you should watch Turning Red if you haven't already. I hope I didn't spoil anything. Um, but until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.